and then before you bring it to your face you touch any part of the tube with your finger this is how you get it started every single time Today we're going to be talking about the high frequency device from Oya Skin. It is a device that comes like this. So this is the, the base. It comes with four different glass attachments and this is a tempered glass. So they're, they're fragile. So you have to be careful with these. What is high frequency? facial treatment. What this actually does is increase the circulation, allowing for more oxygen to be brought to the blood cells, which in turn helps create a really healthy environment for the skin. It is anti-aging because this, this increase in oxygen helps to promote more collagen production and more elastin, which as you know, we start to lose as we age. It is great for acne because it is antimicrobial, so it kills the bacteria that causes the breakouts. It also has a lymphatic drainage effect to it. So this helps with the sagging of the eyes and it helps remove the uh, excess water that causes swelling in the face. Another benefit is also that it is good for congested skin. So specifically for the enlarged pores here, this helps clean out the pores which then allows the pore to, to be constrained and therefore appear smaller. Let's go over the four different attachments. The first one is called the tongue attachment and this one is good for under the eyes and also for reaching areas that are difficult to reach. Then you have the mushroom tube and this one is for using pretty much all over the face. Then we have the bend tube which is the one that's used for acne treatment. And then you have the comb tube which is used for hair that is thinning or hair that is falling out by bringing uh, more circulation into your scalp. So how do you use it? You first uh, start with a clean face. You can apply some skincare products. Just make sure that you stay away from any AHAs or BHAs or any acids that might be harsh. And there are two different ways of using it. One is the direct method and then they have the indirect method. So I first then snap this in. So I take it and I push it down until you hear that little snap. Then you would turn it on. It has the dial at the bottom. I would recommend starting at the at lower level, the lowest level, and then kind of work your way up. You turn it on and you're gonna hear like that buzz. And the way you would work it is you touch it with the finger, then you then you press it to the skin and then you can release it and then you start to treat the area and then when you are done touch it with the finger again remove it and then turn it off what you do is you wrap the tube with the gauze really we'll start low and then before you bring it to your face you touch any part of the tube with your finger. This is how you get it started every single time. You bring it, lay it on the skin and release the finger. And then you can start your treatment. You just slide it around all over, touching the skin, but not really putting any type of pressure. To remove it, we again, touch the tube with the finger and then lift it off remove the gauze, turn it off. So that's how you would use it with the gauze. Now let's talk about doing a acne treatment. The one we use, like I said, which is the bend tube. So 
In this method, we don't use the gauze. In this I'm gonna work on treating this one here. So I turn on the device, touch it, and then put it on the zit, and then one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. We do this five times for then, which would be a total of 15 seconds. So again, we bring it, hold it for one, two, three, remove it, then bring it back. One, two, three, remove it. So uh, this is how you would treat the acne. Again, it is, you hold it for three seconds and you do it five different times, which is a total of 15 seconds. Some contraindications include pregnant women, people who have a, like a pacemaker, people who have epilepsy, but I recommend you also do your own research and uh, make sure that if you have any specific health conditions that you make sure that there, there's no contraindication to you specifically. But those are the top three uh, that I'm aware of and I just wanted to um, mention them. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please Please let me know down below if this is something that you are using, that you have used in the past. Did you like it? Did you um, find it beneficial? Would you recommend it to others? I would love to hear your thoughts and also that way other um, members can read and also learn um, you know, from other people's experiences. So let's uh, comment down below. Let's help one another. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the week. Thank you again for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.